I love this chapter. And it's also, it, it kind of crosses over with the When Harry Met Sally conversation yes. and the friendship tapes. Um, because you were set up on a date with him to yes. begin with, which yes. went gloriously <laughs> in a di another direction. <laughs> it did. Yes, I wanted to explore the When Harry Met Sally conundrum, that idea, can straight men and straight women ever truly be friends? I think they can. I think people of all genders can be all kinds of friends, and it's just about exploring and deciding what sort of relationship you want to have. And uh, yes, we had a hilarious first and only date where he spilt a pint of water over me and compared me to a horse, which <laughs> <laughs> to this day he maintains as a compliment. Um, and, uh, but luckily, like, he turned out to be a much better friend than anything else, and I'm so grateful to him for that. I'd love to read a little bit from that. And yes. can I be sat now? Yes. <laughs> Phoebe's going to be sat now. I, he's not here, but if he were, He'd be losing his shit at the idea that Phoebe Waller-Bridge <laughs> is, is like playing him on the Royal Festival Hall stage. So um, the structure of these chapters where I interview my friends is that um, I write a bit and then I just have like extracts of dialogue. So what's going to happen is I'm going to read a little, like a couple of paragraphs first, and then we're going to reenact the dialogue. Okay. I asked Satnam recently about how he viewed our friendship and its unexpected starting point. He replied without hesitation that there was no sexual chemistry. <laughs> we were chatting over Zoom, and although this entire chapter is based on the fact that there was absolutely no frisson between us, I couldn't help but feel offended that he stated it so baldly. <laughs> it was ridiculous of me, but there you have it. So, I said, just to get this straight, you didn't fancy me at all. I guess... The fancying thing, I could see him squirming in his seat. I haven't probably thought about it, he said. Maybe it's just something I told myself. I don't know. I also had the sense that you were dating quite a few people. <laughs> <laughs> well, how can I put this? I was. And he continued, I thought, I don't want to be in a competition. I maybe just partly thought, I can't compare, you know. You were in a dating frenzy then, weren't you? Dating frenzy was an exaggeration, I interrupted. Elizabeth. I went on one date with another person in that two-week period when we first met. But I also remember my mindset at the time. My self-esteem was on the floor, and I needed someone to be so fucking focused and directive and to say, this is what I want, this is how I feel, almost from the off. Yeah, you didn't need another vague writer. <laughs> <laughs> no, and also we were destined to be great friends, so I'm glad you weren't like that. Yeah, I'm glad we did it, got it out of the way, and well, we didn't do it, I guess. <laughs> I'm really glad we didn't do it. I'm glad we didn't do it. I'm really glad. I don't think we would have been friends afterwards. Also, you told me I looked like a horse. I was thinking, it's not a horse. It's more a llama. <laughs> <laughs> Llamas can be quite pretty. Oh, that was so much worse. No, they can't. <laughs> Llamas have really pretty faces. No, they don't. They just have long eyelashes. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> <laughs>